Commanders versus Giants. Commanders visiting the Giants, 1 o'clock in East Rutherford. The buy hat is engaged. Taking Washington on the road at minus 3.5. And, And, you know, a lot of psychology in this game. Go back to last week. If you guys didn't see it live, I'm sure you saw it in the highlights. Incredible Hail Mary victory for Washington. Oftentimes when that happens, it's a letdown the next week. But if you actually watched that game, Washington dominated the Bears, really shouldn't have ever needed that Hail Mary. And that's really been the story of this commander's team this year in Jaden Daniels season one. Six and two straight up, six and two ATS. When they win, they cover. And they are four and oh ATS as a favorite this year. You look at the Giants. The Giants have had some buy low moments this year, but as the season progresses, it's very clear. Daniel Jones is not the guy. He has a bad contract for this team. Dable doesn't like him. And the Giants have been awful at home going 0-4 ATS, 0-3 ATS in the division. And I think a really key point, the only time this year they were catching three and a half points at home in the division, Week 7 against Philly, Philly 28-3. to These teams did play in Washington in Week 2. Washington did win by 3. That game could have been a blowout. Washington kicked 6 field goals inside of 33 yards and sustainably dominated the Giants on both sides of the line. This is a heavy road line. I have Washington to win this game on the average by 8. Margin will come. Coach Rick in the house, he knows ball. What do you think about this game? Well, you, you mentioned a couple of key points, and I don't have an official play, but if, if I were to, to look at this game, one, I would look at Danny Dimes. Um, you know, you mentioned the troubles that he has had. He's actually gone under 210.5 passing yards in four of his last five home games. He's just having a rough time. You mentioned the contract. I, I don't expect him to be around much longer, but – Take a look at his passing yards total. Uh, the other play, you know, you mentioned this, the six uh, trips to the red zone and they come away with field goals. You know, Washington gets in the red zone. I mean, man, they're not going to score six times. Uh, I, you know, I think that's, that would play into uh, one of my takes would be take a look at Washington's team total. You know, right now, I think it's around 23 and a half. I mean, they've gone over that probably, what, four or five, six times. So, I don't have an official play, but, you know, again, maybe Jones passing yards total and uh, Washington's team total. Yeah, without question. And and just to really emphasize that again, it's very rare in professional football to see a team that has the offensive firepower of Washington get in the red zone six times in one game and kick six chip shot field goals, 425 yards in that game. This is a pretty stout Giants defense, but this is a very advanced rookie quarterback in Jaden Daniels and a very well-coached commander's team for the first time probably in 35 years. Buy low on that. It's a generational buy. The buy hat is engaged. Take Washington on the road and let's cash this ticket.